dear civil engineers to our previous lecture i have just provided you the complete basic knowledge on concrete modeling on tackle structures so from that lecture i'm just going to show you about the basic phenomenon of steel structure so i will try to cover all of that part parts by parts in our every lecture and after that we will go for our advanced work so i hope you will stay with us and you will support us so first of all in this lecture i'm just going to show that how we we'll create our columns steel columns so uh, for our steel columns modeling we have to know about the basic phenomenon of our i mean the option related to our steel model steel modeling and after completing our modeling we will be able to design any complex model if we know okay so first of all and how we'll create that uh, grid system how we'll change that all lecture already we have completed i'll request to please go to our uh, description and you learn everything okay so here the link are given in description now just go to very still and from here you can see our columns beams and every phenomenon available so i'm just going to show that how we'll create our columns i'll click here in column tabs and simply click here just see after coming here just simply click here columns okay now just see here everything is available i'll just skip and if you double click here okay after right click interrupt and by clicking here press ctrl to move that okay sorry uh, i have to just click here that select option select all or press directly f2 and after that if you click here every component will be selected now double click any of it so i'm just double clicking here now see here our wall profile are showing now here the column and if you just go that profile as i have selected us environment that's why when i'm starting that software i have just selected us environment that's why here the database from us are showing so for your case if you're from uk or any other countries or india then you can change your environment and it will be available there after that to change it you can simply click here and after clicking you can see there are many profile are available now you can see here i have selected 16 and 15 here is my database and i have selected that one so you can select any of it from here as per your requirement so if you just select from here w 10 into 12 12 okay and they have many section like that clear so if you just click here if you just click here and you will be able to see that section value here you will be able to see your section value okay as i have used using the unit for us customary that's why it's showing the value in fps so if you need that you can also change it no problem so if you need that section or, or any section you need actually you can select from here you can select from here no problem after that if i just go here and if i select that database and if i click apply and if i close it okay if i close it and if i click a modify just see it's have been modified here you can see it's have been modified and that on that is different okay so if you click here if you click here and after clicking here if you close it and after that if you select that one and if you simply click here columns and if you press any column here that the default format default format of that column will be available here 
okay then you skip press ctrl to move it just see the size of that column and that column are not same okay so that column and that column are same if you click here double click just see 14 43 and here are 1443 now they have something as the class you can change it as per your requirement if you need to change this class and materials from here also you can change the materials value so from here select grid has the grid and the every materials actually available here for our concrete grid you can select as per your requirement i'm just closing that after that here the position okay so what will be the vertical position if you click middle then it's okay if you click down then if we just move that and if you click modify just see it's have been moved or if you just go here it's have moved again if you just click here for that on up and if you click modify just it will move in that side so i'll take it in middle and i'll click modify and here the most important thing this is the top okay from where it's top from that point to that point this is the top okay and here's the bottom minus two feet that's why you are showing everywhere it's have created a columns that value are minus two feet so if you need to change that value suppose for minus one feet and if you click modify just see here or if you need that value for the zero then provide here zero and modify that's it now if you need to rotate it select it after selecting that from here rotation font then top if you click top modify just see it's a popped okay again if you click here back then modify just see and also if you click below then modify it will modify now the most important thing is if you want to use that value suppose 10 then modify just see it will move for 10 now also if you provide here 30 and if you click modify just see here it will rotate for 30 degree and again the same way if you provide for 45 and if you click modify just see it will modify for 45 degree and if i just close it and after that if i go here windows and view list so i have to create view actually first so from here view first of all actually we have to create some uh, view list for our that model this is not fact actually uh, in our previous lecture i have shown that how we we'll create that view list so i don't want to waste your time and also my time to show you about that so this is the way to create our columns perfectly and in this way you are able to create any size size any shape and also column in any rotation so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video and if you think that that was helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever fast and finally if you want to support us then obviously join as a member and that will be very helpful for me so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video